Chris Christie just got in a fan's face after being taunted at a baseball game. Chris Christie, the governor of New Jersey, cannot seem to escape the spotlight. After allegedly being taunted at a Milwaukee Brewers game, the disgraced governor took it upon himself to confront one of his detractors. This is, of course, only the latest in a series of public relations mishaps for the embattled politician. Only weeks ago, while watching yet another baseball game at City Field, a foul ball made its way to Christie. He made a left-handed catch and the crowd was not shy about their feelings for the governor. Once the fans realized who had caught the ball, the stadium can be heard erupting into deafening boos. Even the announcer takes a shot at Christie, saying, it's nice to see him get from the beach here to the ballpark. Fresh off the heels of his Bridgie Gate scandal, in which he allegedly facilitated lane closures on the George Washington Bridge as political retribution for a Democratic mayor who didn't endorse his re-election bid, Christie brought about Beachgate. Following a budgetary disagreement between the Republican governor and the Democratic legislature, Christie ordered the government shut down on July 4 weekend, only to then immediately leave for vacation at the state-owned Island Beach State Park, a popular destination that was, because of him, closed to the public on one of the busiest holiday weekends of the year. Christie had initially denied going to the beach at all, telling reporters, I didn't. I didn't get any sun. But when photos emerged on social media of the governor and his family relaxing on a sprawling, and, thanks to the shutdown, private, beach, his spokesman was forced to clarify the governor's whereabouts. Yes, the governor was on the beach briefly today talking to his wife and family before heading into the office. He did not get any sun. He had a baseball hat on. New Jerseyans were justifiably furious at the closure of miles of the coastline on one of, if not the, biggest holiday weekends of the year. Tourism accounts for nearly 7% of New Jersey's entire state economy. Christie then added insult to injury by tweeting out an image of the Jersey Shore, denoting the fact that NJ beaches are open in 119 of our 130 miles of coastline. The governor, of course, had exclusive use of the other 11. While the inclination may be to pity the governor, it's important to remember that it was Christie's poor judgment that brought about all of his wholly unnecessary scandals. A Republican governor who once enjoyed bipartisan support in a deep blue state, and was, at one point, a favorite for the Republican nomination for president, facilitated his own fall from grace because of the same selfish intimidation that he exhibited at the Brewers game. Count on Chris Christie too, somehow turn even a day at the ballpark into a battle, to a battle.